Hey there, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to Talk Yarning to Me. I'm your host, Zuri. I will be talking yarning with you for a bit tonight. Um, hoping everyone is doing good. I don't have a ton, but I feel like it's been a while since I talked to everybody. So I'm gonna hop on here and show you the few things I've got going right now. I feel like my room is really dark. I don't know why, hang on. I guess that's better. Oh, I'm trying to hide the mess that is my hair tonight because I, um, my son was sick this weekend. He had a, he was coughing, well, he was sneezing all weekend. I didn't think much of it until Monday when I started, my throat started feeling scratchy and all that. And I was trying to power through work this week because he's with his dad this week. I don't really have to do a whole ton outside of just go to work and, um, but this morning I just was not doing it. I, so I called out today. So I just kind of have been hanging around the house. I've been a mess. I didn't do much except for brush my teeth today. Um, so I just threw a headband on just to make this a little something. Um, but anyway, like I said, I don't have, like, I haven't got a ton of big things done, but I've got some small stuff to show you guys. Um, mainly hats. Um, those are well let me before i even go there so the main you know my main goal where is that is to finish my husband's sweater this is where we're at right now i don't remember where we were the last time i was with you guys um i think i was down here so it's made some progress but i really thought i'd be done with this by now what i forgot is that stocking at stitch is supremely boring like it's so boring. And so it's hard to do, even though this is like just a little short piece, like it's hard to sit down and do a lot of this. So I'll do a little bit at a time and I will just get so bored. And I don't know why it's so boring, honestly, because you're not doing like you, this stuck in that stitch, what you do is you knit, this is the front side, the right side, whatever you want to call it. You knit on the front side, purl on the back very easy and so it's not even like you're doing the same thing every row you're alternating stitches every other row maybe because the fabric it makes is just a flat regular fabric is why it's so boring i don't know but i it's a yawn fest man it's it's more boring to me than just like straight um garter stitch knitting which is knitting every row like that i can do for hours on end but this, oh my gosh. And I think it's because garter stitch, you don't have to think about it at all. You just go. So I can be doing any like infinite number of other things while I'm knitting garter stitch and I don't have to think about it. And so I don't have to think about how boring it is. Whereas this, like you have to be cognizant of what row you're on. Maybe so you actually have to look at it and think about it every once in a while. I don't know, but it's hard for me to get through. So I should have been done with this already, but I haven't really touched this since sometime last week i think i don't think i did it this weekend i'm not i don't have far to go anyway that's where that is that's sleeve number one it's coming along that's just it is what it is um but i will try to finish at least this sleeve this week um but so to take my mind off of boring boring hats i mean boring boring sleeves i have been doing some hats um I did, so like I said, I have been doing the Bod Hat a Palooza Challenge sponsored by Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And this week, well, last week's hat was like a cable stitch hat, which I've never crocheted cables. Um, I have crochet, I have knit cables and um, I don't love them. Um, they're fiddly, it's, I, they, I, I can do them, but they're just, they're not fun. They're like the opposite of why I don't like stocking it, in which like you have to, they're too involved, <laughs> I guess. Like you gotta, you gotta um, knit or whatever, you knit across, then when you get to your cable, you have to switch those stitches to another needle, and then you have to knit behind them or in front of them, depending on what direction you want your cable to go. And it's just, it's a lot. Then you gotta put the needle, the stitches back on your main needle. It's a lot, it's too much thinking. Um, so I don't love them, but I can do them and I, I get why people like them. They're visually interesting. Um, 
yeah but anyway so it was this cable stitch hat which is cool this one so i guess there's a i guess there's a several different ways to do cables in crochet this is the first time i've done them and this is just like post stitches with some bobbles like in between um but i don't know I, where, where this stands like in the hierarchy of cables if this has a name or anything but it was it was interesting to do it was fun to do um and i did it so this is like the super saver Aaron, which i've been working on for months that's still going i thought i would actually finish it out with this hat and i would have i probably would have if i had done the whole thing in one color but that was too plain it was just too boring you know that's the theme i guess of this week is like don't do boring stuff um so this is just super saver in red actually it's you can see it hold on it's this thing right there so it's a big old jumbo so probably the next several things i make are going to be with this red um but i like it i did have to even though i went down a needle size i still found that i had to um bring in the brim a little bit so i decreased i think i did two rows of of um single crochets on the brim and I decreased um in the first row I think and I was like while I was making it, I kept sticking it on my husband's head um because he doesn't have the hair issue that I have that kind of can take away from the sizing um but even it was like big on him even like if he even after I decreased it like it's a bit of a slouchy on him so um like he's got to pull it back on his head a little bit so it is what it is I don't know crochets sizing is weird like I can't if I do things that fit me I don't think they fit anyone else if I do things that fit other people they don't fit me very well but I like this hat I haven't washed it yet so it's still kind of rude but um I actually did laundry day and I meant to throw this in now I forgot but I'll I gotta do my son's laundry so I'll throw it in there I'm sure it's gonna soften up beautifully and I'll throw it in my donate pile um the second hat I did I actually started this last weekend so if you remember I made my son a spider-man hat the first one I made he wanted red it's right here actually. Oh. very poorly dressed so i'm trying to get up without showing you guys this so okay it's not the first one I did. this is the second one the first one i did the um webbing was white and it wasn't stitched and he was like took one look at it and he's like well, well no that's wrong the webs are supposed to be red for this version of spider-man which is miles morales and i was like okay because i had just followed the tutorial and they that's the colors they use but uh, he's right like in the actual what do they call it costume that's not the right word right suit <laughs> uniform like he's got a black what do they call that it's not a, it's not a costume what does the superhero call his clothes i cannot recall but it's black <laughs> with red like web web design. Um, so I made him another one and I, he decided to give um, the first one to our youngest who took one look at it and was like, I appreciate it. First he was like, oh, this is awesome. But then like an hour later he was like, um, Zuri, can you make me a Venom hat instead? <laughs> and Venom is like this other superhero that I've never seen his movie, but he kind of looks like Spider-Man, but he's all black. He has like this, uh, these big, sharp, scary teeth. And I think he's an alien or something. Or he's like a symbiote. He like latches on to people and you turn into Venom and you get you turn and he's like all black and he has big, scary teeth. And he has like this long tongue. And I think he like bites bad guys' head off or something. I don't remember. I've never seen it. But if I recall, that's it. So I was like, yeah, I'll make you a Venom hat. Especially since that first one, because the webbing wasn't stitched on, it just was kind of like, one thing of yarn that just kind of was like what's the word um integrated in so you just like kind of stretched it out and stretched it around it, it didn't look good it looked it was a hot mess and because i didn't give i didn't like leave enough on the inside like there's not enough give on the inside like they're not flush against the i showed you guys several weeks ago they're not like flush against the um the surface of the hat so they like stick out like not stick out but they like stretch across the hat instead of like being flat um so it keeps like getting pulled it's just it's a hot mess so i was like yeah i understand you don't want that one no one wants that one if i can i'm gonna try to take out like the webbing part and just leave it as like a black hat with the eyes and put it in the donate pile if i can take out the webbing part so i was like okay i'll make you a venom hat and um 
it's very similar, I guess, because he's kind of like Spider-Man. Um, but he, uh, his eyes are different. <coughs> he has, I don't even know. Maybe I'll pop a picture up because his eyes are different. He doesn't have, like, regular superhero mask eyes. They're, like, they come up. They're a little crescent shape, and they have a little notch on the top, which I had no idea how to do. But I was like, I'll just make a crescent shape and see how that comes out, that turns out. And so I made a crescent shape for his eyes. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. And I was like, I should do the tongue because I didn't want to do the teeth. I looked up some pictures of like people that had made Venom hats. And some of them had like kind of dopey triangle teeth like across the brim um, that I didn't like the look of. But a lot of them had like a, the tongue, long tongue sticking out. Um, some of them kind of were like, what is it called? Like a cat, not a cow, like a balaclava. So it went around and under his head and then the tongue like stuck out it was like, there's a lot of different options, but I just wanted to make like something simple. So I made this, I came up with this, um, which is, so there's his eyes. And then this is his tongue, which goes like wraps around his head and back around. So I don't know if that like, hopefully it, that is small cause it's like made for the size of my youngest. So it doesn't really fit on my head, but hopefully people will get that. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to give it teeth after all, but I think it's cool. It's a cool idea. And the thing I love about this is this is like all, I didn't follow a tutorial for this. So this is, except for the little half, the crescent moon shapes, like the crescent shape, which I did find, like all this is freehand. I did the sizing myself. I did the increases. Like this is not based on anything like anyone else's. I mean, it's based on the same design that I got this from, but like I don't use the same stitch counts or anything. Cause this is like supposed to be a size for anywhere from like eight to like you know probably like a small size adult but it's huge like i don't see how a kid can wear this even you know my son is 12 so his head is almost my size he can wear it but i don't see how a smaller kid can wear it so i made it smaller for my stepson and um i figured out how to do the tongue myself i just started with like so i just did different size I, I decreased the size of the stitches across, like as I went along. So I just chained en enough to kind of make it around. And then I started off with double crochets. And every once in a while I would do like two double crochet, like in the same stitch to kind of like make it kind of wiggly. Like you would think a long tongue would be like undulating a little bit. So then I went and then I then I like decreased, you can see here. Um, I switched to half double crochets here. In that same place that I switched, because first I just did a switch by, like I just went from a single crochet to a half double crochet, and you could see it was like a dramatic change. So instead what I did was like I decreased the stitch here. So I, I, I double crocheted two together right when I was making that change, and that just made it for like a smoother transition from the taller stitches to the shorter stitches. So I went, you know, did that, kind of did a few more. Like here, like this is like just like, I think this is like three in one stitch. Um, just so like it's kind of a wiggly tongue, you know? And then probably right around here, I think right where I did that big little hump right here with three in one stitch. Then I did, I went down to single crochets. So then it's single crochets. And then the last two or three stitches, I just did slip stitches so that they're very, like that's a little bit of a point. And I got the idea from kind of like the how the crescents are done because with the crescents you do like same kind of thing you do you do um a couple of half, half double crochets at the edges and then double crochets um like you do a double crochet single two double crochets single crochet two double crochets single cro like around here and then you slip stitch you slip you slip you know slip stitch on each of the ends um so you do different size stitches and then you like you get the curve by putting more than one stitch in one in each stitch so yeah i might still maybe i was probably too maybe i'll figure out how to put some teeth on here there's a little space right here maybe just to give it the just so you know who it is because right now it just looks like a weird ghost or something so maybe he'll know maybe he'll get it but it's pretty cool i'm really proud of that so that's for him I gotta wash this too. All three of these I gotta wash. And then I was like, well, let me make something for, you know, I'll make one for our other son too. He didn't ask for one, but you know, you just wanna, 
include everybody. So for him, I just did like regular Spider-Man. Actually, no. Well, I started this the other day just to do it because I went and I bought all the um, colors to do like all the different versions of Spider-Man, which, well, three different versions. There's a regular Spider-Man. There's Miles Morales, which is the animated one for, well, so these are all, they're all from, so there's regular, you, you have that new movie that came out across the Spider-Verse. So you have, that's the main star is Miles Morales. Then you have the traditional Peter Parker, Spider-Man. And then you have Spider-Girl, her name is Gwen Stacy. And like her suit is not, what is that word? Her suit is like white and mainly white with like pink and blue, like this. And so I just went and I bought at Michael's like all the colors I need to like do hats for, for each of the characters. I hope you get to hear me. Um, so I'd started, and so I'd started doing this last week one day, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna finish this. I'll, if um, I'll offer it to um, our oldest, and if he wants it, cool, he can have it. If not, you know, I will either throw it in the donate pile, or I'll just maybe make up a bunch of these and give them to my son's friends or whatever. But I just was like, well, I just want to, you know, do because I want to make myself one, and then I just want to do. I was like, let me just try. Oh, wait a minute. This is backwards. Do you guys see that? Okay, this is the front. I put the eyes on the wrong side. Oh man, I'm gonna have to fix that. That's the front, that's the back. Ah, oh, yeah, see? Because of the little ear flaps. That's disappointing. The little ear flaps, yeah, they don't <laughs> go over your ears like this. See? Whereas, this way, see that? Oh man, I'll have to fix that. I'm gonna fix that. It's not a hard thing though. But yeah, um, that stinks. But yeah, so that's what I was doing. I finished. I finished both those these two today. I, fin I started this. I got like the whole body of the hat done. I just had to do like the, all the little applique. I think did I do this last night or did I do this today? I did this today. I think these little appliques and the tongue and all like the little braid and then this whole thing I had like maybe halfway done the body of it I finished that and then I did like the this tonight so, so I did that was cool other than that I haven't been doing much hey guys it's the next day and I just wanted to hop on real quick because I um I fixed that hat that was on backwards and I made an adjustment to the venom hat so I just want to show you guys because I also washed them and um okay so i'll just show you guys real quick this very easy fix i just took the eyes off the back and re them on the front and it's just much better now i feel much better throw this on there you go ears are nicely covered so that's good this one here once i finished fixing this i was like you know what i feel that I can because okay so this character his eyes are not really like moon do I still have it yeah they're not really moon shaped like this they're more like I don't know this isn't exactly oblong but like they go to a point really it goes even higher than this but I figured this is best so I just kind of played around with it just the same kind of ideas of like adding double cro like stitches of different heights and stuff like double crochets two double crochets and some single crochets and then like all these at the end here is all slip stitches and even when I did like the outer ring of gray instead of like here it's single crochets but down here it's like slip stitches so I just was like oh let me see if I can make it look a little more true to character because my my kids my kids are very literal they be like that's not right that's not what his eyes look like and then all my hard work will be like go to waste so anyway I like it a little more now hopefully my son likes it um and then yeah I just washed this one and just like I thought it came out super soft now and I hope you guys can hear me I got my headphones in I just realized that because I was listening to a podcast um like a history one but yeah so this is it washed and then this is the same one I just washed this this one my son like I don't know he had like a tissue in his pocket or something I don't know but you see it's all linty 
and pilly. Some of it I think is like this gray fluff and then some of it I think is because my kid left a tissue in his pocket or something that got on a lot of stuff. But hopefully the eight year old won't mind. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys a little adjustment. So now this is like everything on here now is like my own design, um, so to speak, which is really cool. So nothing here is like, yeah, it's all like I came up with it all myself, which is really cool. Um, first time doing that for crochet, I think, yeah. So now I know I can do it. We'll see. I'm not much of a designer of anything, but um, we'll see what I can come up with, you know, in the future or, you know, I, I know I can, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm still a little, I know I can um, whip up a hat or something for anybody you know it's just nice to know anyway um back to yesterday i have worked on my son's blanket which i'll show you today i can't remember if this is the same place it was when i was showed you guys the last time i think i made a little bit of progress so i'm gonna try to hold it so you guys can see the color uh the i wonder if i turn this off you gotta like do it at the right angles and stuff. That doesn't help. To like get the full effect of like the um, stitch changes, but you can see, you can see the color blocks. I Yeah, you can see them. But this is where it changes here, which is harder to see. But I think when you get, once you get, I get like a full block, it's easier to see. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna start keeping a stitch marker. I'll do that right now, actually here. We'll put this on here, let's put it right here. So I've got a stitch marker just to, as a progress keeper so that I actually know how far I've come in between showing you guys that. And the only other thing I did was, okay, you remember I told you guys I'm gonna do a scrap blanket, right? And I remember the other day that my biggest scrap, Hang on, let me put this bag. Stuff is spilling out of here. My biggest scrap is the temperature blanket that I tried to start way back in 2020, and I made it to June, I think, and got totally lost. I, like, I fell behind. I had no interest in catching up. And so it's just been piled up in a cubby in my room for the past three years and I did make I made a hat out of um I just put like attached like cast on from that like the end that I stopped at I made a hat with um a bit of it and it it's a nice hat it came out nice but the only problem is is that I because I didn't feel like having a whole bunch of ends to weave in I did here's the blanket so here it is um what's left of it because I didn't feel like having a lot of ends to weave in I did the um what's it called magic knot join when I join a new color like let me see if we can see it like right here here's one let me turn it around maybe you can see it right there so you can there's hard little knots in it you know because it I'm figured it's like the edge of a blanket no one's gonna care and it's just like a silly little project I'm doing. Like here's another one, right? So in the hat that I made, it's the hat is nice and it feels great, but you can feel like sporadically the little knots in it. And I was like, you know, I wouldn't feel great giving that to someone, even donating it like that, you know? Um, so what I decided to do instead was to add it to my scrap blanket. So I think I started probably here with this yellow <coughs> sorry guys I've been yeah I did told you guys I've been like sick so I started with this yellow and it's just going so there's even at the edge of the, like the size it is now there's not like one row of this blanket will not get across one row of this blanket so it's going to be very like patchwork which I think is cool like you see the interplay of the colors it's gonna be very patchwork um but it's, i think it's gonna be cool and um, the only thing is is like 
I'm going to miss. Like, this is a super, like, soft. I was really looking forward to having this just because it's, like, a very, like, squishy. This is Karen Simply Soft, all of it. But worked up in garter stitch, it's, like, really, like, soft and squishy and, like, warm. Whereas this, maybe once I wash it, it'll be different. But this is not. This is a much stiffer fabric. So it's not going to be as, it doesn't feel as nice as this. Maybe I need a bigger hook size. I used a five, which is what I used on my granny square blanket, which was also simply soft, but this just is so much tighter. But I think once I wash it, it'll be fine. But yeah, so I'm gonna work on getting all of this in here. And then it'll just be, after that, it'll just be whatever scraps I come up with from, um, from working on stuff. So that is like all that's going on. The only, one other thing is, um, this this uh so this set that I made I showed you guys already the blanket and the hat and the little diaper cover um I found out that the friend that I'm giving that to is having a girl so I'm probably going to I have um one and a half more skeins of this gray so I am gonna make a little flower or something to put either one or maybe four, I don't know, maybe in each of the corners, or maybe just one corner, but I'm gonna have some, make some flowers to put on here, um, just to make it more girly, just in case they feel it, you know, just to make it more definitively girly. Like I said before, I feel like that's plenty feminine, um, but you know, you know how people are. They might want to, to just be like, what is the word, like a demonstrably, stereotypically feminine or whatever so um i'm gonna add that and then maybe either i will try to make i probably will still have some left over so i might try to either make like a um a baby dress to go with this with that leftover gray or something something to go with this i don't think i'm gonna make a lovey i don't think i make a lovey i think i'm gonna make some kind of baby some other kind of baby thing <laughs> to go. Oh, I dropped it to go with these. So maybe a little dress um, or something or who knows. But that's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to find something, um, find a pattern or find something to work on for that. Like a newbornish size one, obviously, because these are, these are newborn size. So, and I think the baby is going to be born late winter, midwinter, I would think. It's only August now, so I'm not even sure when she's due, but it'll be cold enough to justify, I think, uh, making something with, like, this is size four, kind of fluffy acrylic. <coughs> Sorry, I hate when people cough in their videos, like, hacking coughs, like, so I'm gonna try to, um, not. Okay, anyway. That's all that's going on. I will be back um, at some point when I have more interesting, cool stuff to show you guys. Until then, I hope everyone's doing great. Um, once again, um, thank you for watching. Thank you if you have subscribed. Um, thank you if you are going to subscribe as soon as you're done with this. I was looking for these, my needles, I was looking for this. Um, and leave a comment, leave a like, email me at talkyarny to me at gmail.com with uh, talkyarny, the number two me at gmail.com. No, sorry, talkyarny to me with T O spelled out at gmail.com if you would like to email me. Um, I'm not on any other social media under my YouTube name, but maybe I will be at some point. And if I do that, I will let you guys know. Um, until then though, until the next time, I hope you guys have a great, um, day, week, month, year, and, um, something less awkward to sign off with. Okay, bye.